Listen, Anquan Davis is as productive as college quarterbacks come. But in my opinion, he's just that a college quarterback. I mean, he runs the ball just as much as he throws it. And with that frame, he's not gonna hold up in the NFL playing the way he plays. And trying to convert quarterbacks into NFL pocket passers hasn't really gone so well in the past. As far as I'm concerned, Deshaun Kaiser is head over heels, the better prospect and should be the number one overall pick in the draft. He's six inches, get this, half a foot taller than Anquan Davis. Oh, but bro, size isn't everything, isn't it? Okay, wait, 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 I gotta chime in. Davis has not only been more productive on the ground, but also more productive through the air. He has a higher completion percentage. He has a higher quarterback rating. He has less interceptions, more touchdowns. I mean, what does this kid have to do? Grow six inches? Well, that, that'd be a good start. Bro, why are you watching this shit? Man, I watch this shit every day. Motivation. No, that ain't the way that you be driving. Test me. I'ma show the people that you're lying. Fake uh, head on the press. Girl, you look at this. Two middle fingers and I'm on to the next bitch. Wow. Aim at any lane, rap a neck. <laughs> Had to put the silence on the tip. Yeah. Hundo put it for the chip. You can tell like it just wipe the crumbs off my lips. I'm flying. Alright man, this week we're taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes, bro. We're still number one in the nation, bro. They're comparing us heavily to Kaiser and saying that thanks to his size, he might actually get the nod, man, as the number one pick, man. That's ridiculous. As you look, Notre Dame four and two. We're still undefeated. Granted, they've played more games than we have, but whatever. As we take a look at the numbers now, we're still sitting atop. The, uh, the Heisman watch. You see Kaiser beginning to creep up, man. And here's the point that they're making. This dude is 230 pounds. He's literally 50 pounds heavier than AD. It's also a full six inches taller. So he's got incredible size over AD. But if we take a look at his numbers, man, now he got hurt last year. So he didn't, uh, he didn't get to play the full season. It's only week seven right now, and he's already matched his touchdown and interception total from that year. So the last year we really have to compare to as far as a full season is 2013. And you can kind of see where he was at. But if you take a look at this year, QB rating 167, 18 touchdowns, five picks so far. All right, he's got 1,700 yards, completing 64% of his passes, averaging 294 a game. That's good. AD's QB rating is higher. Kaiser has thrown for more yards at this point, but keep in mind they have played six games. We've only played four to this point, so you know the yards thing should even out. 16 touchdowns, only thrown one interception this year, averaging 331 yards per game, and 71% completion rate. If we talk about what AD does in a rush game, it's honestly maybe an unfair comparison, man. Averaging 150 yards per game, already got nine touchdowns. Uh, Kaiser averages 33. Now, the funny thing is, they actually holding this against AD, saying that he runs the ball too much and that he'll be less effective once he actually goes into the league. So it's kind of one of those weird situations where even though I'm better in basically every statistical category, they're still projecting this guy as number one, really just based on size. So I don't know how that's gonna play out, man, but right now, we gotta keep stacking up these dubs. The way I see it, AD can actually win that national championship this year. I don't see how we don't solidify that number one pick. I just don't see it. Man, it sucks that we don't play Notre Dame like head to head this year. And looking at their record currently, I don't really see us meeting up in the national championship. You never know what could happen though. In the meantime, AD just gotta keep his head straight, keep doing what he's doing, and ball out. Not the way we wanted to open it up, bro. Mm, let's go, baby. There we go. Quick read. Let's eat. Yo, I think Afadal is hurt, bro, because he's not out here, man. God damn it. Oh, let's go. That throw was a little bit short, man. That was a 50, that was really like a 60 yard pass though because, you know, by the time we finished backing up. 
AD just got hella control of this offense, bro. Like, his command of this shit is ridiculous. Missing one of my top receivers, man. That sucks. But Wallace gonna eat today. <laughs> I think another thing that people don't give AD for is his ability. Like, if you look at how much his receivers have changed this year versus his first two seasons. Because, you know, in, in style. Completely different types of receivers. All right, we're going to audible right here. And yeah, y'all already know, Coach, trust me to go for it. I like what I'm seeing, too. I love what I'm seeing. Oh! Fuck! Come here. We just didn't create that separation, bro. We need it, bro. Hell, we had Offa out there. That's a touchdown, man. All right, Ohio State takes that momentum to go down and score. So now we gotta come back. We try to hit him with the same play again, see if it works. It works again, bro. That play is. We don't get it. We're going for it on fourth. Fourth and two. We got it. Boom. Let's go, Big Wallace. Damn. Oh, there you go. Touchdown, baby. I'm out of here, baby. Ah! I just feel like AD been in so many battles at this point. This shit don't even bother him no more. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Put a real senior out here, man. And I ever tell y'all Big Wallace was a beast? All right, man. Start of the third quarter, 21-10. We're looking pretty good. Taking control back of this game. Oh! <laughs> 10. Oh, and this off nowhere. Ooh. Oh, I'm in there. Ah, you can't stop. They come back off of that, only get a field goal, and that pretty much seals it, bro. That pretty much seals it in my mind. I'm keeping it. Oh, let's go. Jets. Ah. I'm gonna say, man, you gonna pick? Like, goddamn, yeah, there's two holes there. He just can't make up his mind. Come on, baby. All right, first and go. Here we go. Keeping it. Touch. Oh, yeah, touchdown. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're gonna actually hit him with a play action just because I know they think we're gonna run it. But let's just, you know, not. Mmm, good throw, man, because that. We really have any room for error right there. Ellie, we're going straight to the natty, bro. I ain't playing no games this year. I already told him. Good. Good shit. Good shit, Hooker. I should have laid that over top. That was my fault. I don't even want to say he's deceptively fast. He's just crafty. You know how to get behind you. 39. Damn. Fuck. Man, just like that, we look up, and this is actually a game, bro. 35-27, they back in it. I'm actually gonna audible right here. Trusting my big boy, let's go. I say, fully commit to the run if you want to, and think I want audible. Pick up this first, there you go, Griffin. Then some, baby. Let's go, Griffin. Come on, man. We getting out of here with the dub, man. Come on, man. That's game. Get us out of here. All right, man. So we finished the game, 42-33. Ohio State did try to make a game out of it, which is what's up. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to see that, actually. Um, AD finishes the game, 22 of 29, 337 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. And it's important to note, we threw this interception early. I always like that because if you throw the pick early and then you come back and have an amazing game, 
Shows a lot mentally, you know. On the ground, bruh, 16 rushes, 179 yards, two touchdowns, he ate. My boy Taj Griffin had 71 yards and a touchdown. Check out Big Tristan Wallace. I mean, <laughs> I thought I went down, so it just left Tristan as my number one primary target, and he went off, bruh. Seven catches, 140 yards. And two touchdowns, bro. And for a 6'4", 240-pound guy, I mean, he's averaging 20 yards a catch, man. That's insane. Anyway, another day, another dub. So, Bruce, this past week, Anquan Davis came out and asserted his dominance. Meanwhile, Kaiser had a bye week, and Kaiser falls completely out of the Heisman watch. What do you got to say now? Well, I really like the kid from Florida. Wow, you really just can't get his guy's props. I'm just saying, I think Luke Del Rio's a better prospect. <laughs> uh, guess I've been doubted all my life.